Oregon's 2013 state report cards are out for state school districts and they look just a little bit different this year. KZI 9 News reporter Sarah Hurwitz is live in the studio to break down some of those changes and also look at how our local districts scored this year. Sarah? Renee, the new state report cards are larger and more detailed than previous years. District administrators say that there are a number of new parts parents have never seen before, part of a new grading system for the state. As you flip through the pages of your school report card this year, you'll notice some changes. It first starts with a new rating system. Are they at level one, two, three, four, or five? They show where the state average is. So for example, here we're looking at a report card for the Arts and Technology Academy. It shows it's a level four school, it's above the state average. Eugene Forge School District Communications Coordinator Carrie Delf says this year the state report card also includes a breakdown of demographics of students and staff, plus a more in-depth look at how the schools compare to each other. Delf says the district as a whole is seeing improvement and most schools perform about average. But one school, River Road El Camino del Rio Elementary, received a three out of five, meaning it still needs to see some improvement. They're still not up to the level where we would like them to be eventually, but they have made, you know, great strides. And graduation rates, Delph says, are always something the districts can work on. Our graduation rates are not as high as we would like. Uh, that's true across the state of Oregon, and everybody wants to increase graduation. But something we're really focusing on is helping ensure that our first-year students, when they start high school, that they get off to the right start. Overall, we have one model school here, Centennial Elementary, and that means it's of all of our Title I schools, one of 27 in the state in the top 5% and our other schools all fall within the average category and we don't have any priority or focus schools here in Springfield. Springfield Schools Communications Specialist Devin Ashbridge says some of the schools in their district are seeing considerable improvement. From 2011 and 12 up to um, last school year we actually had nine of our 12 elementary schools move up a level in the state report card. Ashbridge says while the new report card is helpful for parents, they're always prepared for questions. We'll be working to make sure um, that our parents and our families understand what the new report card is telling them and how to really look at it from the perspective of its impact on their children. Now, Bethel School District administrators say that they are making improvements and they're particularly proud of Willamette High School's growth this year and they're working on making changes to better meet those higher standards that the state is requiring. You can review all of your local school, school district's report cards by logging onto our website. You can go to KEZI.com. Live in the studio, Sarah Hurwitz, KEZI 9 News.